Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and welcome back to video five of our After Effects Beginners course. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to add simple text, so let's jump into it. So here we are back inside of After Effects, and let's hit the ground running by learning how to add a new text layer to our project. You can go about it a variety of ways, but the easiest would be to either go to Layer, New, Text, or to bring up the Type tool with Control or Command T. Now click anywhere on your footage to indicate where you want your text to roughly be placed. You should see a little line here indicating the rough size of your text, and now whenever you type on your keyboard, it appears right away on your screen. Great, you've just created text inside of After Effects but I really doubt that's all you wanted to do with it. So we're gonna go over the basics of how to actually work with your text and then some more intermediate ways that you can stylize it and make it work best for you. To start with, let's change the font. Right now we've got a pretty generic font and I want something that looks a lot nicer. To choose your new font, let's highlight our text and then go up to our character tab and then select a new font. You can also see a really quick example of what that font is gonna look like on this side of the dropdown. I'm gonna choose this font called Bebes New, but you can choose whatever font you prefer. Uh-oh, except we just hit a problem. Only half of our text is actually recognizing the font change. That's because we only highlighted half of our text. Changes that you make to text in After Effects will only take effect on whatever's highlighted. So to change all of our text, we need to highlight all of our text. Now let's choose the font again, and now the font has been recognized by all of our text. Great. Right beneath that, we can see the options for styling this particular font, bold or thin, and some fonts even have a specific italic option. To the right, we can see two color swatches. This top left one here controls your text color. So let's highlight the text and choose the new color. That looks great. Right below that is the font size parameter. Again, make sure that all of your font is highlighted because it will only impact whatever's highlighted. You can drag the blue number here left or right to make it smaller or bigger. Or you can just input a specific number. Next beside that is letting. Yes, it's actually called letting and not leading as I found out recently. And this controls if you have multiple lines of text, the vertical spacing between those lines. Below that we have kerning and tracking. Kerning will control the space between individual characters. While tracking will help you to control the spread of the entirety of your selected text. Below that we have the stroke amount. This controls how many pixels wide the outer stroke of your text will be. Keeping it at zero will make sure that your text does not have a stroke. To actually give your text a stroke, just increase this value to anything above zero. And if you wanna change the color of your stroke, you can control it with this second swatch up here. And then you can even choose which color appears over which, either the fill above the stroke or the stroke above the fill. It's a simple stylistic choice. Next, quickly here, you can control the vertical or horizontal scaling individually if you'd like. As well, you can shift the baseline of where your text is located either up or down. And finally here, you can control the sume, which basically allows you to proportionally move your text closer together based on the individual characters and how much space they take up. So for example, you can see that the M and the O here are packed closely together but the O only goes as far as the top edge of the T, leaving room at the bottom here where there's a lot more space. And the Y down here shows it even more, because there's technically a border that the Sume is recognizing right about here. And lastly here we have paragraph styles, where you can easily configure your text to be set to the left, center, or right. But those are all of the most common parameters that you'll likely run into as you begin to learn After Effects. But now that we know how to give our text a basic look, how do we actually give it more unique characteristics and even some animation? Well, like in the last video on masking with the add section, a great place to start for your text layer is under here with this tab called animate. Click it and you should be shown a list of animation parameters that you can give to your text. Most of them should be pretty self-explanatory, but feel free to experiment with any of them so that you can see exactly what they do. Like, for example, we can add a skew effect, and we can use this to animate your text to skew off angle over time. There's a lot of really simple and powerful effects that you can give your text just from this menu alone. 
And lastly, now that we know a little bit more about how to work with our text, we want to go over one very common way you can give your text a professional feel that we like to use here at Motion Array. Stylizing your text is way less about knowing which buttons to press and way more about knowing a particular outcome that's going to look desirable. There's a lot of different ways that you could go about this, but one common solution that we like here at Motion Array is to take what we learned from our last video and add a shape layer to your text. Let's just try this out. Take your rectangle tool, shortcut key Q, and let's make sure that none of your layers are highlighted. Now, when we make our shape, it makes a new shape layer instead of a mask. Stretch it out so that it covers the text. Now, this doesn't exactly look the best and we can't even read our text, but if we bring our shape layer down so that it's below our text layer, we can see that it has its own backdrop to clearly stand out against. Awesome! Let's change the color now. Lastly, let's take what we learned from video 2 and let's pre-compose our text and shape layers into one layer. Highlight both of them and then right click, and go to pre-compose. And let's choose to move all attributes into the new composition. And there we go, now our text and the background shape can be controlled as a single unit. But guys, that's the basics of working with text in After Effects. I hope you found this video really helpful. In the next video, we're going to be going over how to use effects and plugins in After Effects. Thanks so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.